Jordan Love was was sensational against Dallas. I get obviously that's that's such a cool story, but I think you and I would agree we expected Green Bay's offense to play well in that game. Uh, but the defensive performance, like when you think of all of the criticism that Packers D coordinator Joe Barry has faced this year, they have had some really bad results. And what they hold Dallas to seven, 16 points during the competitive portion of that game. What did you see from these guys against the Cowboys? I mean, what what was the trick there? And I mean, against this Niners offense, does how how do you sustain that against a, a an offense with so much talent? Yeah, I think you know, I think what's been so hard to figure out about Green Bay's defense is at times when we you know we we've seen them we no better example than against Detroit on Thanksgiving. We all, every game you call of green Bay, you're like, yeah, offensively, they're fun and exciting. What defense are you going to get? So we saw them in, you know, on Thanksgiving against Detroit, one of the best O lines on the road in a hard place to play, you know, top offense. And they dominated. They were awesome. It was very similar, but then we've also seen them against the Panthers give up 30. And we also saw them lose to the giants and we saw them lose to Tampa. So we, we've just seen this like Jekyll and Hyde, but it always seems that in the games they need it, in the games when everything's there, their defense performs. You know, in the last two seasons, the last two games of the season, even to make the playoffs against Minnesota and Chicago, Green Bay only gave up 19 total points, right? So they lose one of those games. They're not even in the position to, to, to win last week, you know, and be the first seven seed to, to upset the two seed like they did against Dallas. So they've found a way to play well in the meaningful games and, no bigger challenge than this week. So as, as good as they're feeling after their performance, and they should, Joe Barry deserves a lot of credit. Um, that entire defensive unit deserves a lot of credit. They're going to have to do it again. And I think they're going to have to find some ways to turn, turn, you know, take away the ball. I think the, the Jair interception there early in the game to, you know, to and ensue, you know, make it 14, nothing after the ensuing offensive possession was critical. Obviously the pick six before half to really make it, out of reach, they're going to have to come up with a couple of those. And, uh, you know, kind of goes back to what we said earlier about when San Francisco's, you know, had a couple struggles this year, what was the common thread? And and it was the defense of being able to take the ball away. So I think the secondary, last week we said it's all about the defensive line. And and really it was the secondary of Green Bay that I think was the, was the story of the game. The two turnover, you know, the two interceptions. And then Throughout most of the game, Dak had nowhere to go with the ball. They did a nice job mixing up the zones. They did a nice job mixing up their coverages. I, I think they've got to – it doesn't change. This this week, they need the same performance. They need to get after the passer, control up front with their with their bigs, and then their secondary has to continue to be opportunistic and and get their hands on balls and, and take away first reads and try to make Brock Purdy's day as difficult as possible, which has been a challenge since he's taken over as starting quarterback. That actually leads into a great point, which is that Packers defensive tackle Devontae Wyatt with, I, I think you could call it a little bit of trash talk saying this week that, you know, when the D line gets to Purdy, if you get pressure on him, he can, he can miss balls behind or, or throw in short and, and throw in interceptions. I don't particularly think that bears out, honestly. Like I think Brock Purdy has been really good against pressure and, and making the right decision when he has to like get out of the pocket. I mean, what, what have you, what do you make of that? Is, is that an accurate scouting report or, I mean, is this just fuel yeah, I, for, for a playoff rivalry? I, I think that's a little bit of a young guy trying to hype himself and his, and his buddies up. I, I don't think the film or the data necessarily supports that. I think, you know, I think San Francisco does a million things good. They they are the best offense in the league in the sense that they are equally efficient running the ball. They're number one, number two, you know, number one in passing the ball. They are the epitome of balance. They are the epitome of talent, scheme, all coming together. They're not the best pass blocking unit in the league. They're not bad. But when you're amazing at everything and you're number one at almost every category, you know, something has to be a little bit down the down the line. And, and I think pass protection's solid. Trent Williams is a Hall of Famer. I think the rest of the group, they're good. I think they're middle of the road pass bro. I think Purdy's actually been exceptional working out of a muddy pocket. I think he's actually been exceptional while under pressure. I mean, he leads the league in, you know, passer rating and completion percentage under pressure and yards per attempt. I mean, so it's hard to say the guy uh, that you can kind of muddy the waters in there and he's going to struggle. Um, 
listen, is any quarterback better under pressure than they are when it's clean? Probably not. But I, I think there's a lot of things you can say about Brock Purdy. There's not many negatives to say about him. And I just, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's uh, it's reflected, but listen, Whatever Green Bay has to do, whatever they need to do to motivate themselves, their front is the strength of their defense. Um, we've seen them when they play well, they've taken down some really good offenses. So you never know. I, I don't blame Wyatt for for talking his boys up a little bit, but uh, I don't know. Pur Purdy's been pretty unflappable throughout the course of the time since he took over last year and uh, getting to him is not easy.